testing, testing, testing. Hello, zero, zero, testing. Salary. 
I said, I feel that I have to work. I have to work. The people were very happy, as happy as myself. And I reached Hibari State to start my work for some years before I headed the Women Arabic Teachers College. Women Arabic Teachers College at Al Kahiri Village from Bali State. I did some efforts for Bali State to contact the state with the Arab and Islamic world with its organization, universities, and other authorities. I was well known in Bauchi as I was well known as Saudi Arabia and Egypt. Uh, later on, I was appointed as a member of a committee to rewrite the biography the life story of Abu Bakr Bawa the first Prime Minister for Independent Nigeria, who was assassinated, assassinated uh, later on after his after the Prime Minister. You are aware about all these uh, things and this your own history. After completing my job in this committee, I discovered that I should not work in a school class with uh, beforehand prepared course and for a limited number as the seats of one class. I decided to devote my time and my effort for the goal of God. And I started my struggle for the sake of God in Lagos and I lived there since 1985 till now. <coughs> I have a nice story to tell you about how I was inspired as you can read in this paper number one, under line number one. Our Lord Jesus Christ inspired me since the year 1989. I'm Muslim schooler. I studied Islam before being a sheikh for 27 years to study only Islam. Then I started to preach and I preached all over most of the mosques in Egypt before I go to Saudi Arabia and work there. So, uh, I used to recite the Quran, the Holy Book. I used to recite it by midnight, every night. Not all, but a part of it. You know, when I'm saying it too. But every midnight, I liked and I got used to read some of it. One night, in 1989, while I was while I was reading in the Quran, citing some verses. A voice came to my ear to give me and to recite for me a different verse. Then I thought that I am just tired and I repeated it. Repeated my own written verse, but instead I hear another verse. I said, no, I'm tired. I brought the book and I went to sleep. The next midnight happened the same thing. The third midnight happened the same thing. 
Then I started to compile, to collect all these verses together, which is coming to my ear while I'm reading another. So I discovered that all of these verses are speaking about Jesus and the Christianity. You know that Jesus and the Christianity are mentioned in the Quran in many verses. And every Muslim, if there are some Muslims from Amatra, they, they know what I'm saying. Any Muslim should recognize Jesus with his regular spirit and with his holy pure mother. If you not certify that, he is not a Muslim. Then any Muslim here can uh, tell something different? No. Unless you, as a Muslim, be witness that Jesus is holy being and God is birth recklessly and his mother is a sin and completely pure and uh, born him as a parent, you are not a Muslim. So these verses in the Quran mention Jesus' story, his sin mother, Saint Mary, came to my ear every night I try to say the Quran. Uh, why? Especially these verses. I collected it, then I wrote it, then, then I went to the Quran to find out the places they were mentioned in, because they are not mentioned in one verse or one chapter, so they are mentioned in many chapters. Some verses are in chapter 1, some verses in chapter 7, some in chapter 4, and so on. So I started to check them in the different chapters they are mentioned in the Holy Book of Quran. Then I was not satisfied because the sound was still coming to me anytime disturbing me when I read any verse. It will refer me to these verses. It will refer me to the same verses. I started to check the explanation of these verses in the book of our all teachers since 1400 years since Quran was revealed we have people to interpret to interpret the Quran to explain it the explanation of the book I, I, I tried to get the explanation of it there was nothing new for me. I have read all before. It's the same as I know. So what is this verse? What is the meaning of that? Why this verse, uh, why this voice is disturbing me anytime I want to recite the Quran and it uh, refers me to this special group of verses mentioned Jesus specially. Anyhow, after a short trial of understanding, I discovered easy, and anybody of us now can decide with me that it cannot be Satan or devil, because Satan has nothing to do with Jesus. If he want to deceive me, he will say, go and drink, go and follow a woman, go and do this, that, but you will not come to speak about Jesus or his mother. You agree with me, I think. Oh. So I, I understood that this is divine message. It's not satanic message. So let me follow it. And anytime I want to hear this voice, I will just open the Quran and I try to read any verse. So the sound will come to give me the same group of verses. Well, I was waiting and once the, vo the voice start to give me the explanation of these verses, which was completely different from the explanation I have read before about these verses. I wondered, 
and I compare between the new explanation and the traditional explanation in our teacher, all teachers' books. And I discovered that all what I hear from the voice is reasonable, logic, true. Even I was surprised how, with all the knowledge I have, how with my experience in the Quran, I couldn't discover by myself without the help of this voice that meanings and these explanations. I will surprised that I was too full to be unable to discover these meanings by myself. And I started to suspect our old teachers. If they were full like me, too full to understand these verses correctly, or they deliberated it. Anyhow, the verses continue, the, the voice continued to give me the same explanation every night till I was full of it. Till I was convinced completely with it. But the truth is heavy always. When truth comes to you, is heavy. Even when there is, all of you are journalists, and this is another tie, can catch and tie me with you. I worked on journalism too in Egypt for some years, and I'm still now issuing a magazine in Arabic. So I am your colleague if you accept me. <laughs> So, I, the, uh, as, as journalists, you know, as men of thoughts, you know that when you have idea, you believe in it, and you know that this is the truth, you like to flourish and uh, uh, put it for everybody, under the sight of everybody, even if all the world is against you. You feel it heavy on you. Truth is heavy. So I couldn't be it. So I spoke to my friends who are Muslims. I told them the story is so and so. I think this voice is from Jesus. People shocked. They thought that I, uh, I lost my sense. So when I insist on what I'm saying and giving them the new logic explanation of these verses, which can make anybody believe in it when he hears it, because it's very clear like the light, you cannot deny it. So they, they, were worried, they feared <coughs> that I may cause trouble for Islam. While indeed there is no trouble in Islam in the new explanation, because Islam is Islam and you have to accept it as it is, not as you want it to be. So as it is mentioned in the Quran, this is the Islam you have to believe in. And that's what I told them all. I told them I'm speaking from the Quran. I'm not preaching from the Bible. I'm telling you what is written in the Holy Book of the Quran. Why you are taking me as deceiver for you? Come all of us to the Quran and let us what we will discover. Jesus is coming back to rule Muslims and non-Muslims and over, all over the world in the Quran as well as in the Bible. 
Okay, put the Bible aside. I'm speaking about the Quran. Jesus is coming back and let any Muslim sheikh come and uh, challenge me to show him the verses showing that Jesus is coming in the Quran. In the Quran. Okay, I'm Muslim like you. Am I speaking to you from the Islamic conception and from the book? Read the letters, letter by letter, word by word, verse by verse with me, and let us understand together. People cannot compete me. So some of them say, oh, Sheikh, all of us know what you are saying and that it is true. But why you are telling them like that? They are taking pride against us. Christians will take pride against us. If that's how we should, we should take our religion. My religion is my religion. The truth is the truth. I answer them, okay, if this is the matter, I advise you to deny the miraculous birth of Jesus say that his mother was not pure and see if you can face your book and face yourself and face your people again they said no we cannot say that it is mentioned in the quran i said okay i am telling you what the complete what is mentioned in the quran again about jesus that is coming back i can assure you my brothers that many of muslims they know the truth and they follow it even except the Muslims of Saudi Arabia they are based on Wahhabism which is a fanatic sect of Islamic sects that's why I wrote a letter to King Fahd bin Abdul Aziz the king of Saudi Arabia I told him that Jesus directed me to him, to give him an order to announce on behalf of all the Muslims around the globe that Christians believe that Jesus being killed on the cross is fair, based on truth, not on telling lies. And this is according to the Quran. Verse number 157, chapter 4. What Christians believe about the killing of Jesus on the cross is fair belief based on reality, not on telling lies. And this certified by the Quran. King Saad bin Abul Aziz, I told him in number two, in case of positive of uh, negative response from his side, I have to collect human rights members and associations all over the world to present the case to the United Nations organization as it is the right of 1.2 billion Christian person and if the United Nations will not consider such case so they are doing nothing the response of the King Fahd Abaziz was only to arrest the Human Rights Association member in Saudi Arabia and it was published all over the magazines and the news of the world. Anyhow, after I hear this voice for some years, I was put in trouble. Maybe I don't like to uh, announce it clearly now, but anyhow, Later on, we may come back to the story of 
the trouble I faced because of that in 1990. Those friends caused for me a big trouble. Then I asked Jesus, or the angel of Jesus who gave me the message, or gave me this truth, to come back and to try to help me, but never come. I waited him, I begged him, I prayed for God to bring him back. I prayed I pray for him if he is God to come back, but never consider my prayer. I said, oh, it is, it is sometime, so, something of dreams. It means that I, I might be wrong. I start to suspect my own self. Then I received at the same time an invitation from an Arabic Islamic country to come and to give a series of lectures about the, Islam, the, the Christian concept or conception and how it is false and not true about Jesus. I said, okay, as my trouble was too much, as my trouble was fi fi financial, essentially, let me go and give this serial against Jesus and against the Christians as this sound stopped to come to me. I went already, and when I reached the airport, for my surprise, I felt dizzy and I felt sleepy, I won't sleep. So I told them, please, I'm very tired and feel sleepy. Take me to where I can sleep. When I start to sleep, I saw Jesus for the first time. Before, it was inspiration through sound. But in that day, I saw him. When he revealed himself to me, I saw him. I could recognize him wherever he appears to me again. Because to see is not like I see you or I see him or you see me. It is a special sight, ability. He will give you and ever you with. And through it you can penetrate any other figure. Any figure or shape you will take. You can penetrate this shape to find him and see him as a holy light. Very, very strong light, which if it is the light we know, like those brothers of the uh, television put over us when they want to picture us, if this type of light, somebody will be blind. But this light is divine light, is sweet. You like it and you will not see it with your eyes. You will see it with your eyes and your skin and your heart and everything in you, if you are you then. Anyhow, by the strength Jesus gave me, I could speak and to dialogue with him. I hope you brought the book with you. My book, my Arabic book. Oh. Ah, yes. So, by the Jesus ability and power he gave me and favored me with, I could speak with him and make dialogue and the dialogue happened between 
me, about between Jesus and me, I have recorded it in this Arabic book, in Arabic language. I titled it the book, the, the dialogue between Jesus and Sheikh Mandu. I could see the light, the divine light around him. And he spoke to me a lot. I answered him. I told him, Jesus, you know the trouble I have faced because of the truth you inspired me. Now you are giving me more truth and will be more heavier against me. If I go and tell people about it, you run away again like you run, like you did when you, when I was in the trouble. Of course, I was still street boy. I didn't enter the school of Jesus by that time. So he told me, be bright with your love. I cannot run away. You will find me, and I will appear to you, and I will give you the power. And I will support you always when it is necessary for you. I said, okay, she said, I'm going to these people who invited me and gave me all these dollars to tell them the truth instead of that fake lectures they are waiting for. He said, no, it's not your place now. Go back to Nigeria. I said again to Nigeria, where people are waiting there to kill me or to drive me away. He said, no. The person who wanted to drive you away is the one to leave Nigeria and it became true. I came to Nigeria and this man who gave me short notice to leave Nigeria by that time I told you about the trouble he became very powerful. He was already powerful man. Once, twice, three times. He is very, very, very powerful man. He was. And he became, when I came back 90, he became more powerful more powerful, more powerful, getting up, and I told Jesus, the man is getting powerful, more powerful. If he will be more powerful, he will hang me at Overland Square in Lagos. But Jesus never mind me, I never appeared again. But after the man reached the top stair of strength, only stopped. He is climbing the stair was his downfall. I don't know how it happened, but this is the secret of Jesus. Nobody in Nigeria can tell me one reason why and what stopped that man from reaching the power he intended to. Except Jesus who can answer this question. But to assure you, this time I was not afraid. The treating was too much, but I never shaked like before. Because power Jesus gave me made me different. Anyhow, I was, as Brother Prince Will told you, interviewed many times by journalists. I, I can tell you there is no national uh, paper, daily paper, issued in Lagos, never interviewed me at least two times. Some are more. And so my daughter who is helping me in my mission. Uh, I, a 
attended uh, and shared in many discussions and I was interviewed through the television uh, of Lagos. I used to give Islamic lectures about interpretation of the Quran, tafsir of the Quran during Ramadan month and other occasions on channel 10 in the Islamic programs uh, by uh, the producer is uh, Mr. Gawad, Razak Gawad. I used to give lecture there almost every week, especially during the month of fasting for Muslims, Ramadan. One day, since about three or four weeks, I was invited to morning ride program to give, to, to be for interview, to speak about my mission and this and that. It was on Saturday, as you know, if you follow the programs of uh, Lagos, and on Monday I received in my house uh, our friend, brother, Prince Will, who came to speak to me. When I met him, he gave me some pictures for the sole spiritual leader Olomba Olomba Obu. I saw the picture of the man. As I told you, you cannot see Jesus as features as we see each other. But there is penetration power he will pound you with, favor you. And this power worked immediately and I could penetrate the picture to see the divine light, the same divine light behind it. And I told him, where is this man? I won't see him. And that's why I am in Calabon. I saw the man in the kingdom, in the whole of kingdom, and light was off. Nepa was off. I didn't feel it because the light was behind Olomba Olomba. Ogo was enough to enlighten the whole Nigeria, not only his world. I don't know if I was in a special case or the other people were in another case. Anyhow, this is my story in short about my mission. I call for unity between Muslims and Christians. I call for stopping war and all type of violence all over the world. And I call especially for the third world and more especially for Africa to stop all type of war, all type of violence because we need instead of doing and practice this violence we need to plant and to farm the land to get our sustenance because People now are hungry and we have to feed them and to tell them how to feed themselves and this should be through farming. So I call Muslims, Christians and everybody, all the believers of God, I call them for unity, for peace, for love to love each other, to help each other, to forgive the others if they did a mistake, if they do mistakes against us, instead of fighting them. Through love, we can make our earth beautiful and better. 
And oh creature you have experienced war. Tell me about one war favored man. Tell me that somebody can say we truly won something out of
in the kingdom of God. For what you just told us here, you seem to be saying that some Islamic teachers have been deliberately, you know, misinforming their followers or even misinterpreting the Quran. I'd like to get that straight. Yes, I said, from what he has said so far, I seem to get the impression that you're saying that some Islamic teachers may have been uh, deliberately misinforming their followers. I have a message that we see the program. about Jesus. Now you now talk about Olumba. So I want you to relate Olumba and Jesus in this aspect because you are now uh, giving an, I mean you are now talking about Jesus who has died and gone. And Olumba is a being, a human being born in a particular part of Nigeria. And to be specific, here in Cross River, and perhaps if you say in Cross River, you can now move to another local government area. So I want you to throw light on that aspect. Thank you. Are you Christian or Muslim? I am a Christian. Question, sir. Have you seen Christ Jesus himself? I <laughs> 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 
I don't know. This is the will of God and the knowledge of God. Nobody can share that about you. Huh? We live for eternity. This is trying to defy the word. word. Yes. Forever. Yes. Say forever means two minutes. You said that Olomba Olomba will stay with us forever. So what you mean by forever? Yes, maybe Olomba Olomba will stay with us forever. Because forever may end after two hours or after two minutes. And who told you that Olomba Olomba will die tomorrow or today? He may continue alive two centuries. This is the will of God. Nobody knows. Excuse me, Father. What, uh, what are your visions about the political situation in the country? It's not I mean, my field. From what is the sense of that? It's like you're talking about it's like you're talking about the vision of various religions. You know we have. But there is a central theme in almost all the religions. Like you're talking about uh, the, uh, the biblical accounts of Jesus Christ and the uh, Islamic uh, accounts. Some people may have, uh, some people have uh, made some calls about uh, what they call uh, Islam. A fusion of both uh, religions. Do you subscribe to that? I couldn't get uh, the idea because no. of this. Um, no, so, what I'm saying is that some people have said that yes. there should be a major of uh, the various uh, religions we have, but there are some themes that run across, you know, that cut across uh, various uh, religions. Just like you uh, said about the biblical accounts of Jesus Christ and the Islamic uh, account too of uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, some people have also called for a fusion of Christianity and uh, 
uh, Islam, which they call Christian. I want your own view on that. Do you subscribe to such a thing? Do like the Maja of Christianity uh, and, uh, and uh, Islam. 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 Islam and the Christianity are the same, almost. Because what is in the Bible indeed is in the Quran. Old Testament and the New Testament are the source of the Quran. Even many stories mentioned in the Quran, very short, a hint of the story, because the complete story is in the Old Testament. It refers you to the Old Testament Torah. Show me but when you come to the matter of your God, you want to put him down your feet and to show everything about Islam and Christianity and this and that and the difference between them and how you got your experience. So maybe this story covers some of the questions and we now, uh, I have finished, thank you for listening to me and please uh, we can start the questions if you like. Yes, my brother, start please. Yes. Yeah. 
Sorry, one of the chapters known as the story of the ascension. When Jesus Christ was being taken up, some of the people gathered and they were watching him being taken up. So an angel of the Lord came out and asked, Why do you stay watching at Jesus Christ being taken up? The same manner you see him taken up, they will come down to the same manner. And all I shall see. Now, I want to find out, now that you have come to this place, you see the devil, will you still expect someone to come back to the same manner? What? What is the difference in hell and paradise? For the first section about the same way he is coming back the same way he was taken up. The same way doesn't about you 
humanity, humility, you should surrender to your Lord, your God. Let him do whatever he wants with you. Accept it because he is already, already, uh, is already able to do whatever he wants to do with you. But when you surrender, you accept it. Thank you. 
not mathematic teacher <laughs> to put it in, in correct form. So we call the number two is the common element between these numbers here. So if we apply this example to Quran and the Bible, we find that Jesus is the element among the two. The common element between the two. Is that it? I 
Arabs 